Hey guys, in today's video, we're going over how to process two separate instruments using your HX Stomp. Both of these instruments will have separate inputs, separate signal paths with different blocks on it, and separate outputs so you can process them completely independently from each other. You're gonna be able to do this with mono, and you're gonna be able to do this with stereo as well. So for example, if you want your HX Stomp to process your electric guitar on one path, and then your acoustic guitar on one path, or if you know you wanna process guitar and keyboards, and those are gonna be separate, or guitar and bass, and they each will have their own signal path with their own effects and their own blocks and their own amps, own reverbs and delays and stuff like that. That's what I'm gonna show you in this video. So be sure to subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this in the future. I have a ton of different videos on the Helix and the HX Stomp, and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first I'm gonna show you how to do this with two mono inputs and two mono outputs. So I'm just gonna show you my routing here really quick. So my guitar is going in to input one on the left. I've used my HX Stomp so much that you can see how faded everything is, so I'll just post like a generic shot on the screen. So my guitar, which is off screen, that is going into input on the left. My iPhone, that is going into the right input right here. And then I have left and right outputs going into my mixer, which is over here. And then I'm re just recording this into my computer so you can hear what's going on. This is the digital mixer for the input. So I'm only when using four inputs. So you can see when I strum my guitar, you can see the input right here. And then when I play the piano, I can see the input right here. But you can already see when I play the piano, it comes in on keys. You can see when I play guitar, comes on the guitar channel, right? However, the thing is, is that I want my HX Stomp to process these differently. I'm gonna run my guitar into an amp. I don't want the keys to run into an amp, right? So here's what you're gonna do. So I'm gonna put in just, you know, an amp for the first, for the guitar, because I want the guitar to be processed on the top. It's gonna go with the good old Soldano Clean. And then I'm gonna put in a block that I want to process the keys on. Right now, I'm just gonna do just an EQ, and I'm just gonna do a simple EQ. It doesn't really matter, and I'll show you why here in a second. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit action on that block that's gonna be for the keys, and then you're gonna move it down to this, where it says path A, I'm gonna move it down to path B. So now you have it processing where it's going to go split from one and then go down to the other. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna see, see where the split is. You're gonna push action, and you're gonna bring it over to the beginning. Now here's the important part. You have this split. It says split Y. You get a couple other ones, split A and B, crossover and dynamic. But the one you want is split Y. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna set balance A all the way to the left, 100%, and balance B all the way to the right, 100%. So now what's gonna happen is anything that's plugged into the left, which in this case is my guitar, is gonna go 100% on this top path. Anything that's plugged into the right, in which case is my keys, is going to go down to this bottom path. But you can still see, I'm still getting signal in both. And the reason why is because you need to go to this last one, the mixer right here, and you need to do the same thing. So A pan needs to go all the way to the left, and then B pan needs to go all the way to the right. Now, when I play the keys, see it's just going out the keys, the keys channel, and when I play my guitar, it's a little hot. but it's going down the guitar channel now. So that's how you can process two separate inputs together. Set up a split all the way to the left for one, all the way to the right for the other one. And then here in the mixer, same thing, path A, pan all the way to the left, and B path, pan all the way to the right. Okay, so now what happens if I want to go out stereo output? I want to process things in stereo. Well, you can do that with the HX Stomp. We actually have a total of technically four inputs and four outputs with the Stomp, and I'm gonna show you how to do that with this. So the guitar is still going in, it's going into the input, and then what I want to do is I want left and right here to go out as stereo. You know, I want to have ping pong delay and stereo reverb and stuff like that. So I have the guitar coming in mono. The guitar, you know, is usually goes in mono, that's usually how it works. And then, you know, I'm gonna process stereo effects, like stereo delay, stereo modulation, stuff like that, and send that out in stereo. That's the most common way to do that, so that's the way that I'm going to do this. Now, what I'm gonna do for my keys is I'm gonna use this cable right here. So this is a TRS, so that's a stereo, 3.5 millimeter, that goes, that splits left and right, right here. I'm, I'm doing this on my phone just because it's easier to film, but you know, if you had your keys, you would have two separate cables, you know, left and right, if you would prefer that way as well. The same idea will apply. Here on the right side of the HX Stomp, you actually have a return port. You have return left and right. Well, that works as an input. So I'm gonna plug these in to left and right. 
for the keyboard, I want that to go to the return as a stereo. I'm using this in stereo, and then I'm gonna send it out in stereo. You might have guessed already on the side, you're going to go out the send. So I want to go in return and out the send for a separate one. I'm gonna process guitar just through the main inputs and then everything send and return for the keyboard. But the thing is, you only have one output for the send. What do you do? So you need a cable like this. This is a TRS to 2TS cable, also known as a breakout cable. So it's coming out stereo and it's sending left and right into these right here. I'll make sure to leave links to all of these cables down below. Just make sure that you are getting the correct one. But this is TRS quarter inch to TS quarter inch. So I'm gonna plug the TRS side into the send. And now what I have, as you can see on my mixer, I have, so, the HX stomp, the main left and right, is going into inputs one and two on my mixer. And now the send is going into three and four. Both of those are gonna be stereo going into my Behringer mixer. And I have it arranged as such on here as well. I have the guitar going in left and right to input one. And then I have the keys going in left and right onto inputs three and four. So if we strum right now, you can see the guitars are coming in, you know, correctly. But keys, I'm not getting anything. Nothing's coming in on the keys. So the reason why is because, look at the at the input. Right now we have the input block set to come in on the main left and right. Now if I move that over, I can do return left and right. So now the keys come in, but they're coming in the guitar channel. That's not what I want, right? You also do have the option to go in USB 5 and 6. That's the only other option that they give you. Guitar is right. I want it to go in the guitar and process through the top, but I want this to go in through the return and be processed on the bottom. So you need to set the HX stomp to understand that. So I have eight blocks already, so I need to remove one of them. So I'm gonna remove this block. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a new one. I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom, go to send and return. So I'm gonna set it to stereo, and I'm gonna set the input to return left and right. I'm gonna hit action and move this down to path B. So now what's gonna happen is the guitar is gonna go through the top and the return is gonna go through the bottom. So when I hit the keys, it's still going out outputs one and two. When I strum guitar, it's still going out one and two. What you have to do is you have to go to this mixer block at the very end. You're gonna hit action and you can move that down to path B as well. And you can see that it is set. It's kind of a little hard to maneuver around. So this top one is gonna go out main left and right. That's what I want guitar to go in through the input and out to left and right. When I go here to this output block, it's sending out send and return. That's what that's the option that it gives you. So now it's going to go into the return here, process through all of this, and then go out the send left and right. Now you can see when I play the keys processing correctly, but here's a problem. When I play guitar, it's processing all of them. So now I just want to show you just common mistakes that you'll probably see while you do this. The reason why is because I have it going in through here and then I'm hitting the split point and I'm sending it left and right. It's going to go to both. So you would think you could just send it, you know, pin everything all the way to the left. I'm still having the same issue. What you actually want to do is you want to send it to split A, B, send it all to A. So you don't want it to split Y. You don't want it to go down here at all. You want it to set it to split A, B, send it all to A, which is just going to go to the top line. If I set that all the way to B 100%, it'll only go through the bottom line. But I want it to be up here at A. So again, let's think about this. We're saying input here is going to go the main left and right. That's where my guitar is plugged into. It's going to hit this split point. Where do I want to route it to? A is on top, B is on bottom. I want it to just be on A. It's going to go through all these blocks on the top, and then it's going to go out main left and right as a stereo file. I want the second path. I have a block right here saying, hey, I want this to come in through the return port. It's coming in through return. It's going to hit all of these bottom blocks. And then here at the output, I'm going to send it out left and right. And I'm going to set it as a stereo file. So there you go. So you do want to think about your processing. Now, just something to consider is that you might notice when I strum, left and right are exactly even. It's not really sending out a stereo file. And the reason why is I'm going to clear these out. So what I need to do is I need to make sure I have this set as a stereo delay, and I need to set this to ping pong. Now, oh, you're not going to be able to hear this because I'm only recording just a single output. So you're not going to be able to hear the, the stereo separation, but watch on my mixer. 
you can see that they're processing separately because I have a stereo file in here. If I set it to mono, it'll just be a dual mono and you're kind of destroying the point of doing stereo. So just make sure that everything you hit after your amp is in stereo. All right, so there you go. Two ins and two outs on the HX Stomp. If this was exactly what you're looking for, do me a favor, just hit the thumbs up button. It does a ton to help out the YouTube algorithm. I know it's annoying YouTubers asking for it. It drives me nuts too, but it truly does really help the channel. So I would appreciate it. Purchase links to anything I mentioned will be down below in the description. So you might have noticed that I was powering my HX Stomp not with the normal power supply. I was actually powering that with USB using a device called the Ripcord by MyVolts. So check out that video. That's actually how I power my HX Stomp now. And I can bring it portably if I want to power it with a power bank. It's actually really cool. So check out that video or my Helix and HX Stomp playlist by clicking some of the links on your screen now. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on my social media pages at Scott Ewell Music on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Mostly on Instagram. I don't really care for the other two. Thank you guys again for watching. Leave a comment down below on how you plan to use this information. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.